Hey there! So it's been a little while since we've done any videos for Airship, but we've got some exciting news. We have a new interface for looking up video and reviewing what's going on in your environment. It might be your grocery store or your little shop on the street. It might be a gas station. It could be anything. It's called the Point of Sale Client, and the idea is that we connect the Airship DVR system to your Point of Sale registers, and by using your sales information, the time that it happened, and who did what and how much money it was worth, you can look up video that matches that information. So, for example, you can search for that new hire that you just hired and look for any transactions that he might have done over $1,000 and then look at the actual video of what happened. You can also look for avoided sales or returned items and quickly do an evaluation of whether or not, well, those sales should have been voided and those items been returned all by yourself. So, you can also use it to do things like, I don't know, make sure your new hires are learning everything they should and go back and teach them things they might be missing. So, without any more really great detail, let's go ahead and show you the point of sale client interface, how it basically works, and I'll be back right after the break. Okay, so what we have here is our point of sale client. Setting things up is pretty easy. I'll show you some settings here really quick. Basically, we're connected to one digital video recorder here. We've connected a register with a camera just for this little demo. So I'm saying register one is using camera nine. We've also defined some other things like exception codes. So for example, avoided transaction or removed item from a transaction. You can also create article groups. So for example, you could make uh, all your soda pop articles a group called soda pop so all your coke and diet coke and pepsi and whatnot so you can make article groups to search on those as well but for right now we're just going to keep it simple one register one camera and just a couple of exception codes so back on the main screen essentially what we can do is well search for anything from today and what you see here at the bottom is a list of all the transactions for today all we're looking for is today's date all day and we haven't set up any of the other search criteria but we can set up some other search criteria for example let's do that exception code and I want to look for avoided transactions so on the left you say what you're gonna look for how you're gonna look for it and then check what you're gonna look for now your exception codes for your POS system might be completely different that's part of the custom integration and that information gets pulled in here in our little demo here we just have some basic exception codes so VD happens to be voided transaction, and I'm going to hit the search button, and there's the one voided transaction I have. When I double click on this uh, result from search, it'll pull up the video, and it pulls up the video a couple seconds before the actual transaction, goes through the transaction up here, and then when it's done, there's a few seconds afterwards as well. And it's on the save button, and save this clip, it goes back through really quick and plays it pretty fast to dump the video out. And when it's finished, it'll tell you where it's saved at. So that'll just take a couple seconds here. And of course, I sped that up through the magic of movie making, so this tells us where it's saved our export clip. You can also save searches. In this case, I've saved one just for the demo. Just click on it and hit the search button. And it finds the things that match that saved search for the current day. And right here is one that I've got. Bought a bunch of vitamin water apparently. So we go through this and what I want to show here is that as the recording goes through the transaction, it's synced up. So for example, it'll show the first item and when this lights up, there it is. And look on the video, there I'm counting the second one and the third one. That's right, and a couple more here. So it keeps the transaction record highlight in sync with the video that it's showing you. You can also pull up a live view, so just click on one of the registers. It'll show you what today's receipts are for that register, but it's actually showing you live video right now. And that's what you've been looking at, is me sitting at my desk and making this video. There's additional views as well. I don't have any hooked up here, but that's the space where they would go. And basically, most of the time, people will sit here and search. So let's talk about searching. We can add more search criteria. So a total greater than $100, for example. Maybe you want to look for a specific cashier. 
So you just go through and set up your specific crypto cashier. Maybe it's me. And maybe it's also John. And just keep hitting the plus sign. And keep hitting the plus sign more. And as you see, you can keep adding more and more criteria as you go along. And of course, you can take them away as well. And again, you can save this as a new search. Just like that. So that's basically how the point of sale system works. There's some other tools available as well, so importing and exporting settings to make it easy to set up multiple point of sale workstations in a larger environment. And of course, the question mark always leads to the help file. So that's pretty much it. All right, so for those paying attention, I uh, changed costume. Uh, it took me a couple of days to put that demo together. But that's the basics of hooking up any sort of external information like point of sale information or even access control or other building management information to a video system like Airship. So we built this user interface that can be reused to, to hook up to any sort of information that has well, essentially a date and time stamp in the record. Just by using the date and time stamp and the information stored by a system like access control or building management or even burglar alarms and motion sensors and anything that's got a central database of information and searching through whatever that information might be, sort of Google style, we're able to pull up the matching video. So the setup involves saying, uh, for example, in point of sale, register one is being watched by cameras 9, 16, and 28. And register two is being covered by a different set of cameras and so forth. Other systems like access control, you would hook up cameras associated with doorways or hallways or parking entries, uh, whatever those might be, whatever access control points are covered by a camera, so that when you search for activity at a given point, the video is just always there. And here's the most important thing to remember about this sort of system. The video should always just be there, connected, in the same place where you went and found the information you were looking for, the video should just be pervasive. So, this is the first iteration of our project of connecting all sorts of information from other systems into the video recording system. If you have any ideas, if you have any questions, or if you have an integration idea, please give us a call. Our phone number is 877-462-4250 or send us an email to sales at airshipdvr.com. We are looking for projects to apply this to right now, including point of sale systems to actually do complete integrations with. Thank you very much for watching, and again, do get in touch anytime if you have any questions. Bye-bye.